Sorry, Timmy White. Oh, hey, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney, Justice for All, nailed it. I'm good. Yay. <laughs> Don't be so, so surprised I was going to propose to Regina. I, 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 I even had something to give to her. I got it in my pocket. Whoa, waiting for a chance to propose and give it to her. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Of course. I, I, I also hid it in my pocket that, that night. It was a present for her. Was it stolen by a monkey? Maybe. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her. So, so I've still got it in my pocket. There's an easy contradiction. Oh, yeah, no shit. You're going to propose. You. A puppet. Don't be so obtuse. Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. I, I guess you're right. Just because I'm old <laughs> doesn't mean I, I couldn't propose to her. What the fuck are you saying, Your Honor? <laughs> exactly! No! No! Trilla, please, you're corrupting the judge. His honor's looking a little less than honorable right now. Uh, yeah, dude, she's 16! Ah! This dude's too dude, old for she's this! 16! Uh, Does the judge have a profile? Your Honor! Ah, uh, damn it. Your honor, dude! She is old enough to just, Dude, she's young enough to be your grandchild, at least! <laughs> okay, Mr. Wright. Please co please continue with your cross-examination. I think he was trying to be sarcastic. I the don't think so. Phoenix's reaction didn't make me think he was being sarcastic. Mm. Well, just because he just sighed at the end of it, so it's like... Like, okay. What was with that sigh at the end? Well, this will be easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. <laughs> we just want to hurry and get him off the stand. <laughs> I don't want you here anymore. <laughs> Not that one. Not that one? The monkey? What are, we, what are we sharing? Am I not lot? Am I this phrase? Oh, not this phrase. Which uh, uh, yeah, phrase? yeah, that, that, that's it. Got it in my pocket. One mm. more. I had it in my pocket. Okay. Yeah. Now it's the ring. Okay. Yeah. Hello, sir. Objection! You're Wait, on. Come on, game. That statement contradicts this evidence, apparently. Mm -hmm. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Well, that seems like a bit of fuckery to me. Huh? Really? Objection denied. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Do we actually have to press it? Whoops, that didn't go so well. Mm. Third, fourth, or fifth statement, supposedly. Is that... Why would that one not work? Is that the sixth statement? How many statements are there? That was the sixth statement. <laughs> Why does it not work on that one? <laughs> so it should That's work the on- That makes the most sense. It's the most blatant contradiction. Yes, right? the blatant contradiction. I have it here in my pocket. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. Maybe I counted wrong. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, God. God damn it. What? what? You do have to press something first. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there's a blatant contradiction. Oh, be what? Because we don't. Oh, that's so. F that's so you dumb. can't actually prove that it oh. is. This dot. It's. It's fuckery, but this fuckery does make sense. So you're still you're still thinking of trying to give it to Regina? 
Of course I am! I spent three months selling on the thing. I'm not gonna give up that easy. Hmm, I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Probably way more than he deserves. How mad at Nick? I think it's about time to unwrap this toy's testimony. That's the spirit, Nick. Give him heck. Give him hell. Wow, she said oh. it. Your Honor, she said it. Yes, she, I heard that. She said it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Maya. <laughs> the judge has that dazed and confused look again. Maybe he should get out more. <laughs> Well, no, he just I surprised guess. Maya said hell. <laughs> like, I guess it is getting ahead of ourselves, even though, like, it seems obvious. But I mean, I'm a little he... I'm a little annoyed still. but Because he's very vague about it. He didn't say it was a ring. That's fair, I guess. Even though he said it was a proposal and you usually propose with a with ring. The ring. <laughs> what was it exactly that you planned on giving her? You know exactly what I was- I was going to give to a numbskull. We know, yes, but the game won't let us. we do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> we knew <laughs> from moment one. I find that could match with Gina's beauty. A yeah. cupcake? No, Maya. A ring. Oh. Notably, a <laughs> cheap <laughs> ring. <laughs> he said he's got a ring on salary. He must get paid an awful... With what? an eerie sparkle? <laughs> Captures her beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Answer his question. What was it? For once, I agree with her. Answer my question. You're gonna die when you hear this. It was an engagement ring. Well, you what don't you fucking say. say. Give her? You don't fucking say, huh, game? You mean you proposed with an engagement ring? Oh, yeah, ring? Game. <laughs> what, what, Wow! Game. Yeah, thank you, Game! <laughs> For forcing us to clarify this it, obvious engage thing. Engagement ring! Wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far. Do none of you know how the whole marriage, marriage ceremony thing works? You propose I mean, well, there's a ring. Miss Blood Karma, I mean, I, I could see her, you know, the whole ice queen thing, so. Yeah, but you should still know how a fucking marriage works. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here's a Pop Tart. We're getting married. <laughs> that would work for me. I won't lie. I'd be like, hell yeah. Time for this to end right here. Francesca's whip looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. <laughs> One hit from that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. Pain equals bad. Equals bad. <laughs> <laughs> it may be something of a joke, but this is a historic moment. The first time that a puppet has ever proposed to you. Ow! <laughs> I advise you to cut this argument short. I'm going to have them to agree with the defense here. What? <laughs> Will the witness please revise their testimony? <laughs> My eye! <laughs> Specifically about the engagement ring. I'd like to stick to the facts, not, spy <laughs> not sociology. <laughs> you should do it to enjoy, enjoy starting the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe. What is that even supposed to mean? Like, what does the, what does the rope have to do with anything? Now can we... Yes. I planned on yes. Okay. I mean, present the ring. Huh? Oh, for fuck's sake! What? <laughs> Third, fourth, or fifth? Apparently, that's the second. I guess. I I, I mean, let's just <laughs> let's let's just just keep pressing uh, until the. the, 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 the I'm really upset right now. Give us an aneurysm. <laughs> Yeah, dude. We know what we're doing, game! Play ball! Take me out to the ball game. Okay. <sighs> well, let's try it again! 
Is Maybe it... we have to press it all first. No, fuck that. The music cut. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm out. Fuck court. I'm gonna go color by numbers or some shit. <sighs> Trillo, do you mind if I show you something? What is it? What are you talking about? Uh oh. Looks like they're gonna double team me now. Ooh woo. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, that's, that's... That's my give it back, thief! Thief! Don't you just testify, didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said, in the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Why then do I have it right here? Because you're a thief! What's go- what is going on here? That's- that's... Ben, say something! Uh, put me on the spot like that, Trillo. I found this in Money's room. M Money's room? You mean a room they put money in, like, a bank vault? Ha! <laughs> that filthy monkey is gonna get what's coming to him! Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you <laughs> if you avoid slandering innocent, in, 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 innocent fits in my, my court. Well, Your Honor, money really is a monkey, in every sense of the word. Oh, I see. Well, then! <laughs> money likes to go after the shiniest things that he can find and gather them up. Shiny things? Trillo, when was this ring stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was... That time, you know, that night, the, the night of the crime. What did you just say? Uh, I think he said the night of the crime. I just thought I'd Didn't help. ask you. I thought I might help you ask. You seem to be having hearing problems. Shut up. Details. I need more details. Well, it was stored right after Max, Ma Max showed up in the plaza. Right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Well, um, I guess you might, um, be able to say that. The ring might have, well, it could have been taken around that time. Monkey sounds. <laughs> ah, yeah! Oh, oh, stop it! Ben, what's with you? Oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything. It's actually not who committed the murder. It's not for you to decide what has to do with what. Now, Trillo, back to the topic at hand. I haven't admitted a thing. Not I, Mr. Trillo Quist. What did you do when the ring was taken, Trillo? You know exactly what I did. I chased after that ring snatching monkey money. But you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? It's all this slow low fool, fool called Ben's fault. While, while, while he was uh, was uh, fumbling his way, way, way through the snow, the dumb monkey was, get, was, was able to get away. That is indeed an incredible shame. Well, this does indeed prove one very important point. Prove an important point? What point could that possibly be? Ben's testimony has a flaw. Dan doesn't exercise enough. He also does not exercise enough. There is a huge contradiction in this witness's testimony. C 
contradiction? Yawn! <sighs> Pardon me. This case is so easy, I'm falling asleep. The witness just testified to the following effect. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. However, the witness just stated that he chased after Money the monkey. When the witness was off chasing Money, there was no one watching the plaza. But what is the meaning of this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Where are you going with this little theory of yours? I'm saying that there is no possible way that, th that this witness saw the plaza the entire time. That, that's where I'm going with this little theory, which leads me to my next point. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Interesting, Mr. Wright. Well then, tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past this diligent ventriloquist? Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying. He's blinded by his rivalry with, rivalry with Max. Well, the defense's argument does hold water. The witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. Tainted witness, tainted witness. What? How dare you? Uh, I wouldn't lie to, to, just to get that dark face in trouble. He's not even worth it. Calling them a dork face isn't helping your case. I saw him, no doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's, f let's flesh out exactly who you saw on that night. Huh. I've told you so many times. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're thinking of my, no, uh, I think you know my story's not changing. You've already changed your story, stick boy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm sure it will change some more. Where's one lie? There are usually many more behind it. Exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep after him. Yeah. 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 Come on, step it up. Step it up. Oh no. Maya got into the Sonic adventure again. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Gotta go faster, faster, faster. No, no, oh. the blue demon has infected Maya. No. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's this music. Yay. Yeah. I'll, I'll 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 give you that that I was wait I was I was writing that right for for Regina, but but that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He he, he showed up after I I had been waiting there about five minutes. I said, I said, good evening to him. But he didn't even acknowledge my presence. Shouldn't Max Don't have a, a dick? Shouldn't Max have a bunch of hair here? <laughs> he 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 have he, yeah, I, I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the sea. There's no way I I, I could could mistake some, someone wearing the, 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 those three ridiculous symbols. Hmm. So that means that money didn't show up until after you saw Max. That's right. Money <laughs> ran, uh, ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. Then Money snatched the ring and you went chasing after him. How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I'd say about... 
I suppose five minutes, I think. So the victim could have arrived on the scene in that five-minute stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. So you were only concerned with waiting for Regina that night. That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else showed up. You should think about about you should, you should think about how many eyes I actually have. I I've got four, you know. Four. F O U R. Counting Ben, of course. <laughs> With, with that many eyes, do, do you really think that they're going to slip by me? Four eyes is an awful lot of attention directed at one area, I suppose. Yikes, the judge, the judge is even more dangerous to our case than Trillo. So you saw Max coming out of the big top that night. Of, of course, that's where I saw him coming from. Uh, I was, I was as, as, as saying at the entrance of the tent the entire time. I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. About what time would you say these events took place? You're one of the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out yourself. You already know Pax is finished properly at 10 p.m. And you already know that I went to the lodge, to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know about what, what time what time it was when I saw him. Just add 10 more minutes. I, I'm sure you can do that. Now what time was it? Indeed, what time was it? Hmm, what time was it? Let me think about that for a second. Ow, I'm no good at this! Muted? Oops. <laughs> yeah, yep. <sighs> it was 10, 10 p.m. I guess that sounds about right. Sounds right, sounds right, because that's the time that I saw Max on the scene! Like, yeah, yeah. Huh? So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. You must, must enjoy asking an incredibly obvious question. You say good morning in the morning, good afternoon during the day, right? And it was obvious that I say good night to someone at night! What, Ben? <laughs> You've got something to add? Let me guess, that's not it, Trello. You say good evening at night. Uh, I'm sorry, Trello. Mr. Quiz, I would prefer it if you kept your ventriloquist act outside the courtroom. Thank you. Impossible! A performer <laughs> lives and dreams his performance. You should know better! You're a hack. Boo! 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 There's gotta be something wrong with this bit of testimony. I mean... I could suggest that would they even want to say good evening, considering they are clonked on the side of the fucking head by that man the earlier the same day? But I don't know if I'm looking at this the right way. Because at this point, I feel like I've been... I've been off the mark this whole fucking case. I'm pretty sure that was correct. Isn't that a bit strange to you?
What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Would they bust you over the head with a wine bottle? How would you yeah, know what it's like, like to be cordial to your co-workers, you fucking maniac? Yeah. Well, if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. Ow, that hurt! Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. Oh, I was eating animal crackers in grade school, man. We're good here. There's no reason that Trillo would ever say something nice to Max. But how do I go about proving that with the evidence? The broken Bluffing bottle? Is Bluffing is everything in this world. But I'm sure you already learned that one. Guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. Oh, so he looped. Okay. Yeah. Oh. There, there has to be a hole in his testimony somewhere. Uh, it didn't loop. It skipped ahead. Oh. 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 Whoops. I agree, but do we have the proof to make something stick? All we can do is try, right, Nick? We've got to have something that will prove useful. All right, time to go to work. Whoops. Now it. <laughs> You are 100% absolutely sure of what you just said. I told you already, jeez. I'm 100% absolutely sure. There's no way that he could be any more confident than that, right? And those three ridiculous symbols, huh? Out of curiosity, exactly how many times have you asked that question by now? If, if you're going to ask again, I'll, a I'll answer with a chorus. Everyone together now! Yeah. White roses! White roses! <laughs> White roses! <laughs> <sighs> Thank you very much. Maya, you didn't have to join in, did you? <laughs> but it's fun shouting out with everyone else. There has to be a hole in his testimony somewhere. I agree, but do we have the proof to make something stick? Blah, 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 blah. Just try. We gotta have something. All right. Yeah. Time to go to work. All right, now we gotta actually figure out what the fuck we want to do here. Um, go, Nick, go. You, Nick. you said something. You had an idea of what you were gonna do. Well, yeah, yeah. well, like, the reason that he wouldn't greet him is, you know, hit him with the bottle, but I guess, should I present that here? Y yeah, I believe so. I mean, that makes sense. Hell yeah. Let's go. Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was just an argument. A disagreement at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. <laughs> that morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? What? <laughs> is, is that an assault, an admission of assault and battery? Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. Assault and battery? Guilty. Get him. Get him out of here. <laughs> murder? Not a chance. <laughs> the truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There's absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial in the evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on the stand. There was no way a puppet 
This lewd. Damn. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> There's no way a puppet that's a lewd would just up and say good evening to his rival. Ah. Are you saying this witness is lying? Yes! That he is trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I didn't tell a single lie, honestly! I just... I just hate him! Uh. That's enough from you, Mr. Quist. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? Um... Hmm. <laughs> Hang on, Your Honor. Let me save Scum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Your Honor. Um. Okay. But I'd say it had to be a different person. Yeah, because he's insisting that he had the. Yeah. Well, he could have been lying because he's trying to frame him. Yeah. Well, my thought initially was like he didn't see anyone. He's full of shit. He's yeah. irrelevant. He's yeah. He's like irrelevant and just lying because he wants Max in jail. But he didn't see anybody and just knew like, oh, well, if he was supposed to, if the murder happened over there, I could have seen him over here, so I can tell the police I saw him going that way. Since he got mm -hmm. arrested, anyways. It could be either one, really. Because he wouldn't have seen the defendant. Yeah. Because they would have been in the office. Yeah. No. The reason why I'm going to have to see someone else is because someone had to murder the ring man. And he saw someone, well, I think he saw someone walking in, just assumed it was Max as they were wearing his out. We don't really have evidence of that, though. We also don't have... have one. <laughs> we have no yeah, evidence for anything. I don't know. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, well... We... <laughs> it's my belief that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. No. Furthermore... I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trillo made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it, whatever the fuck I just messed up there. Uh, what in the world? You. I'm gonna win this case. Well, the defense kindly explained who uh, who Trillo saw that uh, saw that evening. Back. The monkey. <laughs> oh shit! The ringmaster. Maybe. Yes, maybe he could have seen the ringmaster. In the span of like 15 minutes, who else could have taken his Max's outfit? Yeah. Because in the picture, you saw his top hat and cape in the, um, in the ringmaster's office by the door. Yeah. Like, fuck it, it's cold outside. <laughs> ringmaster's like, I'm taking this shit, it's cold as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, there's really only, like... Our options for people are even are limited, right? So Yeah. The only options for people it could have been is Mo, Regina, or, Regina. Or, the, or, the, or the ringmaster that he saw. Or, or Mo the was carried out. Mo was, like, completely exhausted and carried up to his room by... Yes, uh, but by bed. But, so. yeah, so he didn't see him. So he could have seen the ringmaster walking to the lodging plaza from his office, or Regina walking from the top to his office, but 
he would have stopped and talked to her because he wanted to propose to her. So from my logic, the only thing I can gather is he actually saw the ringmaster going to where he got murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Take that! Considering the ill temper of the witness, there is only one person he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. I guess he wasn't being sarcastic. No, your honor, it is not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose you've got a point there. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, wasn't it? Was it not? Huh, I'm actually impressed. You are correct. It was indeed Russell Berry. Mm. The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster, Russell Berry. That's why you greeted him, Trello. Isn't that correct? <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. Go. Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Ah! I caught an arm. He exploded. <laughs> order, order. How do you respond to this? Maybe someone should give that puppet a, give that puppet a hand. Oh, oh, wait a second. Don't lose your head. <laughs> well, at first I thought it was the old man. But but was I got a better look at it? It was obviously Maximilian Galactica. Liar. I think it's high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quiz obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The, the pro problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica or the Ringmaster, one Mr. Russell Berry? The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. Of course you do. I win. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols? All right, this is getting old. Come on, man. You've got to remember them by now. Here we no. go again. Everyone, all together now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we know. The silk hat, cloak, and right roses. Shut up. That's the time we appreciate her whip. <laughs> yes. A silk hat and a cloak. Anyone could wear them. They'd even look good on me. What was that? Well, the witness has endlessly repeated that he saw Max's three symbols. <laughs> However, how do we really know it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Possibly even Russell Berry. What? Miss Mon Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? Well, I... If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes! I think we finally want a point in this one. That is very... unfortunate. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix, right? What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But... Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Huh? Your Honor, the prosecution will provide, beyond a shadow of a doubt, an answer to that question, and evidence that clearly establishes one thing. That there is no other, 
no one other than Maximilian Galactical responsible for this crime. Very well. The court will take a 10 minute recess. During that time, I request the prosecution prepare their next witness. Court is now in recess. Be continued. Da -da -da -da. Which provides a very convenient stopping point for this video. So next time, we get to dismantle yet another... Another, uh... Another garbage testimony. Yep. Um, Assumedly, uh... The clown. Most likely. Bye. Bye. Bye.